morning guys. So if you guys hadn't noticed, on Tuesday I posted readings for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And uh, I think I may have mixed them up. It is re Mercury retrograde, so whichever one you come across is the one that you're supposed to come across. Okay, we're just going to say divine timing, not necessarily a mix-up, but the readings that you were supposed to come across when you were looking for something else. Okay, let's just be clear about that. And last week we had no weekend edition because frankly I was busy <laughs> okay but this reading is going to be for Saturday March 16th and Sunday March 17th numbers for Saturday are 16 and 22 as a matter of fact Saturday has a twin flames activation because we have 22 22 and day numbers of 7 and 22 so there's revelations enlightenment and Yeah, revelations, revelations and grounding peace, okay, in the Twin Flames relationship, okay, just to be clear, and then Sunday, hold on a second guys, let me get to Sunday, and then Sunday we have numbers of 17 and 23, so it's about uh, taking charge, late, uh, leadership, having courage, and stepping forward with your authentic self okay expressing your expressing your authenticity who you truly are okay with confidence what else do we got going on that day literally we have one two three four we have four threes guys okay so this is about being joyful it's ideas and communication it is uh beliefs it's communication it's expression expressing our boundaries with confidence wow <laughs> now i've noticed that we have a lot of planets at 23 degrees so you know 23 is about confidence and five is about change okay so there is a mass wave of change and i think i did warn you guys that there was a mass awakening coming okay so stand strong be confident in who you are all right, guys, cards of the day, weekend edition. Wow, chunk of cards. Okay, let's see. I know they weren't reversed. So when a chunk of cards comes out, that's usually information, information integration. You're either getting downloads or you did receive a download and you're either processing the information or you're getting to a point where you can use that or this awakening has given you a bunch of information or you've come to it yourself uh, because of reflection and and right off the bat right away we've got before i even tell you guys anything we've got the four of swords the hermit and the hierophant okay this is soul searching it's reflection uh yeah, this is the spin. <laughs> this is the spin and coming to terms with what is. One by one, guys. Four of Swords. This is about taking a vacation, having to meditate, or some kind of rest. It could be forced or it could be self-imposed. Okay, somebody could could have left you alone or you're left hanging with nobody around you and at the same time you want to be alone anyways okay the hermit is about self-mastery it's about analyzing the puzzle pieces somebody is spinning here there this is like my analysis paralysis and retreat during analysis paralysis in, in an attempt to uh, find the inner stillness okay and to master the self, whatever is going on, somebody is trying to master themselves. Yeah, deep reflection, soul searching, because we have four and nine. So four has to do about the the house and home, early emotional security. It's the fourth house and also the ninth and the sixth house. So we have a purging bringing you back to unconditional love as you reflect on things that have made you feel emotionally insecure for a long time this is regaining control over the self regaining control over your emotions and coming to a place where you realize you really don't need anybody else okay you are whole and complete in yourself and you just need to 
realize this. Then we have the Hierophant. This is a student, the teacher, traditions. This is also marriage and commitment. Taurus. So this can also be about contracts and agreements. Somebody's really taking their time to think about their relationship, to think about the things they've believed their entire lives. Suddenly realizing that everything's been a sham. Everything they've ever been taught, everything they've ever seen their whole entire lives is not necessarily real. It was real in the world, but this is not real in their world. So they could be interested, you guys could be interested in looking at astrology or tarot or some kind of esoteric practice. You guys are getting curious because you're seeing and hearing some things, um, noticing a lot of coincidences, uh, synchronicities, and it's really piquing your interest. You've been thinking about that too. You guys may be watching somebody, some kind of spiritual leader, or you may be becoming one yourself. Somebody's thinking about their marriage, their relationships, their beliefs in terms of politics, religion, government, marriage. They're rethinking their beliefs about institutions, okay? Can be prison. Something, anything that governs or has power the measure of control through uniform accepted beliefs and practices. So you're giving things some serious consideration, you know. Who says I have to be Catholic or Christian? Who says that I have to be atheist? Who says that I have to get married and live together with my love? Who says that I have to vote? Who says that I have to believe in any of the institutions that society has been bringing me and telling me this is what you have to do. So you're really thinking about your place in society as a sheep. You're recognizing that you've been a sheep for so long and you're beginning to learn that you have the power to make these changes. You can turn from that sheep into the black sheep because technically you are the black sheep right now, okay? You're the black sheep and all these white sheep. Things are becoming clearer and clearer as you recognize the dark side that is being kept from you. And then we have the hangman, page of swords and seven of swords. So hangman is about surrendering. This is the year of the hangman. It is a number 12 year, 12 equals three. So it's about information, communication, negotiation, beliefs. Okay, 12, to me 12 is having harmony within the self, okay, the one and the two. I start with the number on the right first, so that would be two. Two is harmony or working together and one is the self or something new. So what you have to do with the hangman is you have to surrender Okay, let what is be what is and try to step back and look at things from a higher perspective. And when you change how you look at things, especially these traditions and everything, you know, sheep worthy, changing, this is, this is telling you, recognize that you are the sheep and learn from it, okay? Become the black sheep and then sing your own tune. Break away, breaking away from the pack of sheep is what's going on here with the hangman. And then we have Page of Swords, which is about information, okay? This basically says protect your information. This could be a communicate, uh, someone communicating to you because it is air and it, uh, swords are air. And Page could be a messenger, somebody younger communicating with you. This could be, this could be fraud, guys. Um, this generally represents spying. So it's like somebody could be watching you. Somebody could be spying on you. This could be your partner. This could be the government. <laughs> this could be your pastor. 
keeping tabs on you. Somebody's keeping tabs on you. Hierophant is also Taurus. Taurus is about material possessions, comfort at home. Um, what else? Earth. So you could be thinking about the changes uh, taking place in the earth and realizing how we've been hurting it. Okay, so you're breaking away from the pack to do things different than what has been de expected and demanded from you. Okay, and they're watching you because you're a rebel. This, If you're in fact in a love relationship, you could have possibly walked away from somebody or you're separated from somebody or you're separated from physically from somebody but still together and they're peeking in on you <coughs> this could also represent hacking so you know um, with mercury retrograde in Pisces there there's a lot of hacking there's a lot of phishing um, people stealing credit card numbers uh, what else scammers calling you on the phone um, emails trying to fish for information from you that kind of thing okay so protect your information And then we have Seven of Swords, which is deceit, lying, betrayal. Okay, so so double, double up on that. Somebody is trying to use smoke and mirrors. Okay, they're trying to deceive you. They're lying to you. They're betraying you in some kind of way. Yeah, you guys. Um, Make sure that your passwords are all updated. Watch your debit and credit cards. Don't buy anything online right now with Mercury in retrograde. You don't want to sign. You don't want to buy anyways. And if you do, um, tendency for somebody to get a hold of your stuff. This could be like if you broke up with somebody, like they, they're spying. They could be like checking you out. And as soon as you leave for work, they're coming in the house, like going in your underwear drawer, smelling your... <laughs> delicates okay they could be stealing something from you okay they could have stole your heart they could have stole your money they could have stole your possessions so guys hang on tightly to your stuff because the hierophant representing Taurus um, we have Uranus and Taurus so that also represents um, financial or material change so you could get completely robbed Somebody could completely rob you of your your possessions. This could be in the form of being mugged, or they can come into your house. I almost feel like I want to say um, home invasion, just because the Four of Swords and the Hermit is alone, isolation. So there could be people that are taking ad uh, that are being taken advantage of because they're kind of isolated. Somebody's coming in and they're ripping them off. Wow, that was a lot of information <laughs> just from those couple of cards. Uh, I am channeling, guys, so sometimes I'll talk, 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 talk. And the more connections I find out my mouth, it comes, which I guess is good, you know. You want as much information as possible. What do we got here? Okay, this is this way. This is reversed. Yeah, until you change your perspective, until you learn to look at things differently, uh, you're going to have trouble opening up the manifestation portal and taking care of your goals. You're consumed right now. This is like analysis paralysis, okay? So because you're devoting so much time and attention and energy in your head, your source of energy is being depleted. Therefore, you cannot manifest at this time. This does not mean that you don't put out intentions because when you can regroup and regenerate your energy, you will be able to get to this, okay? Two of Wands can be goals. To me, it's a manifestation portal. Uh, Two of Wands is about creating, uh, creating goals and the strategy to take you there. And when it's reversed, it's like you don't have the manifestation portal at the moment or you don't have the energy to divert to it. Or somebody is lacking in goals because they're in a, uh, they're busy soul searching right now. They haven't yet created that goal because they still need to change their perspective. 
Okay, so there's no strategy, no energy put anywhere except for mastering the self, which is awesome. Um, you're going to come out of this with a different point of view, and you're going to feel happier than you were before. Because the hermit's also a number nine, which is purging. Okay, you're purging something. And when you purge something, it leaves you in this pure state. Okay, once you're in that pure state, then you can look at things differently. Instead of being poisoned by the hierophant, the traditions, the hier hierarchies, the picture, the people that govern and have power, the institutions and traditions that have power over you. Okay, so we have these this way, so, oh boy. The tower. <laughs> we love the tower. Okay. So for some people, the tower either blows shit the fuck up, just literally your walls crumbling around you, and you're being forced to rebuild because whatever, whatever this foundation was, was faulty. The perception was skewered. So the hangman and the tower, wow, you've got serious reflecting here. This almost feels like Dark Knight of the Soul, but there's uh, it's missing a couple of cards. I feel like somebody's doing some serious soul searching. They're going through an awakening in which they're going to change the way they look at things because they're changing the way they feel about themselves. And then we have Three of Cups, which is reverse. You may not feel like talking to anyone or hanging out with friends. Um, Somebody may ask you out on a date, which I don't have that here. I'm just saying with the three of cups reversed, you're not, you're not feeling very social. If somebody tries to come back in your life because it's Mercury retrograde and a lot of times people will reappear, um, including past soulmates or ex-boyfriends or all that, you're not interested. <laughs> if you trying to look at a breakup or a divorce or being fired from a job or somebody that has passed... You have to change the way that you look at things, realize that you're never going to see them again or that you're not going to get back together with them because it didn't serve you. You're moving on into your higher timeline. Okay, it's, it's a release, it's the purge. That's why they're spying on you because you told them, nope, I can't be with you. And then with the hangman, you're realizing that this is all for a higher purpose, that there is a reason for this. There is a reason for everything, okay? And divine timing, divine timing is about allowing the universe time to set things up for you because when it is time, <laughs> it is time, okay? Temperance, divine timing. I just said that. <laughs> you will know when it is time because the universe will move you. They will fill you with energy and you, you, <laughs> you'll get moving on creating balance in your life. Inner balance, external balance, balance between you and your friends, between home and business, between your partner and business. Um, just an equal all-out balancing. This is the deliverance of something that is fair. Okay? Then we have one, seven, twelve, seven, seven, seven. Once again, we have seven, seven, seven. Okay, crapshoot, lucky roll. Temperance is about divine timing. It's about waiting for your opening to act. Okay, observe, pay attention, gather the information, which you're already doing. You're gathering the information and analyzing in this deep, in this deep reflection. I mean, God, what do you live in the jungle? You you must live in Kalapana or something. Because this is literally squaring yourself away and shunning social uh, anything social in an attempt to have complete quiet, in an attempt to keep your energy from being depleted. You could be really, really tired at this time. I mean, like sleeping nine hours and waking up tired, wanting to go to sleep earlier than usual and sleeping from like 8 to 12 hours at a time possibly even more temperance is about balancing okay melding the hot and cold until 
it's tepid and it's uniform. Okay, balancing out, fairness, justice. And then we have the Seven of Wands. This is about having the courage to stand up for yourself. It's standing in your power. It's also about defense, having to defend yourself against somebody who opposes you. So with So you could be filing for divorce. You could be enacting a lawsuit. You could be suing the church. You could be suing some kind of institution. Um, you could be defending yourself to get out of fear. You could be finally getting a chance to prove yourself innocent. But also know that, you know, when you, this is a time of contracts. Hierophant is Taurus. It's ruled by Libra. We have a full moon in Libra coming up on the 20th, okay, where there's new contracts, new partners. I was, when I do the full moon in Libra video, I was going to call it, well, actually, it's the weekly horoscope. It's basically titled Liberty and Justice for All is the theme here. So what I'm seeing here is a lot of justice coming to the forefront. People are being liberated, and it's what is fair. After so much time of being imprisoned or enchained, either in your own minds or in a physical prison or in some kind of hospital, there is coming this period of a balancing out. If you deserve to get out, you're going to get out, okay? And you're going you're gonna to be able to stop having to defend yourself constantly. It is time. It is time for some justice, okay? It is time for you to... Fight that good fight, the last fight, in order to defend yourself. So it's either time to take that stand or it's time to stop having to defend yourself one way or the other. Some kind of contract is ending here. Done. Mm. Something that doesn't benefit you will go away. Okay? And any new contracts that come along, please analyze it. And use discernment with the Virgo energy. Take a good look at this contract because you don't want to chain yourself to something that's going to bleed you dry of some kind of energy. Whether it's your time, your attention, your money, or your ideas. Okay, Be very discerning. That's also Virgo energy, right? Take care of your health by making sure you expend energy on the things that serve you. And you don't give anything your energy that doesn't deserve it or you're not giving your energy to somebody uh, and it's enabling them to continue a particular behavior uh, or pattern of thought or pattern of behavior oh baby <laughs> oh we love when the star card comes out right star card bam there it is your wish has been granted Okay, so for a lot of you guys, you're going to be getting everything that you hope for. The star is number 17. Okay, it is the card of healing after a trauma. Whatever this tower moment is that you went through, that could be considered as a, some type of trauma or drama. This is after, okay, when you've already cried your heart out and you're thinking... And you're getting to the point where I can't stay in this energy. I can't spend every day depressed. That's not me. Okay. The situation is done. It's over. The worst is over. And now all that's left is my fears. So you need to buck up. Okay. Put on them big girl panties. And get moving. Because you're about to get your wish. If you let it. There could also be some light shone on how you've had to defend yourself. So, and for some of you guys in legal cases, you could have been unjustly accused or unjustly imprisoned. And now think in new information is coming to to light. Okay, and you're probably able to successfully defend yourself and get out. And on top of that, you will be fairly represented, okay? Cuz we also got justice. Another thing with legal legal matters and contracts. Justice is about being honestly represented. It's, it's also about balance and what's fair. We've got a lot of fair and balance. Uh, my God. A lot of things balancing out. Things are going to be righted. Like I said, I called this week's horoscope. 
of liberty and justice for all. Pretty much, that's what it looks like. Finally, some justice. It's about time. Okay, so that justice fell out on the star along with death and the four of wands and the king of cups. Woo, baby. All right, so the star is your wish coming true, right? Healing. Things balancing out and being fair. Contracts coming to an end. A new contract starting and it's the one that you've always dreamed of. Could also be marriage and commitment. So you could be getting divorced so you could eventually marry somebody because the Four of Wands and the King of Cups. Somebody loves you very much and they want to marry you. They're committed to you. Okay, this is success, accomplishment. Four of Wands is feeling very emotional secure in the domestic relationship, okay? And your partner loves you. And maybe some of, maybe the truth is that you've always been happy with them and you were waiting for them to be happy with themselves because we also have transformation here. The death card. Wow, this is definitely a new cycle. You get your wish. Somebody's vulnerable with you. Uh, a lot of justice. Justice and liberty for all. Some of you guys are getting out of jail. Some of you guys are getting out of a marriage and moving on. Somebody, um, they could have asked you to marry them. Or that could be your wish to marry them. Here's that contract. But you can't marry them until something happens here. You're waiting for something to happen. Maybe you're wait, waiting for them to stop being so defensive and let their guard down. But there is a transformation taking place. Things will be balanced out and you will come to this place where you will be renewed by this relationship. And it's almost like your partner they're committed to you and they want to marry you because you complete them. You make them think. You make them want to be better and fairer. I have to say I'm jealous. Your, your partner is uh, very committed to you. But do not let them bleed from you. They still have to take care of themselves. They, sell, they still have to be fair. There can be some level of jealousy though. Your partner. Jealousy, spying, obsession. It looks like your partner is obsessed with you. I mean, they really truly love you and they're, they're just so obsessed they wanna change. They want to change because you help them feel free. So now that you help them feel free, they, they're they able to say anything they want to you. And they probably talk too much. <laughs> they, they need to spend more time thinking than talking. Um, yeah. The balance of power. You renew them. Okay, one card from the Hawaiian Healing Intentions deck, and we will tie this up. Hmm. Okay, and that one didn't go back in the deck. It actually sat on my thumb, so it wanted to come out. Pule, prayer, blessing, grace. It's 21, okay? Expressing your authenticity. My intention is to take full responsibility for my energy, my thoughts, and my actions by recognizing that every moment of my life is a prayer. Your life is a prayer. Every thought, every action, every reaction is your round-the-clock dialogue with your ancestors, your spirit guides, and the divine. The intercom is always on. 
By choosing to live consciously and take full responsibility for your thoughts, words, actions, and en energy, you will send crystal clear messages to the universe and all her helpers. Yeah, living consciously. I, I feel like I should pull one from this one too. Now, I haven't been using this quite a lot because the Hawaiian Healing Intention stack have seemed more, um, has called to me more. But I, oh, there it is. <laughs> yep, that's why. All right. So this is from the Of Heaven Ascending on Earth, which I carry in my store, Pop Shop. We pulled Akua, God. Everything around us has spirit. Cultivate your journey with appreciation. Try to be humble and recognize Ha, the breath of life. Okay, so they're basically saying the same thing about the energy, about giving out too much, harnessing it, and uh, being able to recover. So when you come out of this spin, make sure you take the time for yourself. If you need to sleep, sleep. Get the extra rest. Make sure you drink a lot of water and take care of yourself. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Love you. Take care.